hi everyone just type a y in the text chat if you can hear me okay yeah okay everyone can hear me fantastic all right well welcome to the auric etheric clearing free webinar everyone so i trust you're looking forward to this as much as i am so without further ado let's get this underway now let's start off with what you'll be learning in today's webinar you'll be learning how powerful energy is all around you and how you can summon harness and channel it to improve all areas of your life the spiritual and scientific principles of financial imprints and money blockages and how to eliminate and shield yourself from their damaging effects how to find the source of and unhook the hidden attachments secretly attracting things like business investments jobs or personal losses to you how to overcome and reverse past negative business experiences investment losses and financial problems which fracture your energy field and block you from achieving any future wealth and success so what i'll be doing is facilitating a powerful step-by-step -step life clearing freeing you of sabotaging negative blocks so like a powerful magnet you can attract prosperity in all areas of your life so my promise to you today is that this training is to help you experience the power of auric clearing and transform any hidden turmoil or constraints by doing this you'll start to notice profound shifts and improvements in your finances health relationships and in all other areas of your life and i'll be giving those who take advantage and stay to the end an opportunity to further their education on how to rapidly increase success in all areas of their life and how to clear all areas of your life clients have increased their income from anywhere from 50 to 500 percent and in rare cases a thousand percent and have even experienced physical healings from this training now regardless of whether you take this life-changing offer i'm supremely confident you'll get tremendous value in today's training okay now here's the big problem now if you're stuck right now and you're not achieving the results that you want in your life then more than likely you have hidden sabotages and blocks stopping you from achieving the success you deserve okay so now that you've committed yourself to change i will show you a tool that can help you clear existing blockages and keep your mind body and spirit shielded from future any future negative attacks all right so now we're going to go through this does this sound like you you're intuitively sensing or know that you have or you have imprints or blocks around money or around emotional stuff or other things because you aren't creating the amount of money you deserve or you're not manifesting the results that you would like you, and you have attracted business or investment losses in the past and you're and you're suspecting that you have energy negative energy or spiritual blocks which are holding you back or maybe you can make money and you're doing well in that arena but you sense there are sabotaging factors preventing you from achieving success in the in other areas of your life and you're ready to experience real transformation and help yourself to get the life that you like just type a y if that is if that's right with you carissa yes christine yes eva yes Delma, yes. Judith, yes. <coughs> Meng, yes. Okay, yeah. So quite a few people. So that's awesome. Okay, so so negative money experiences or anything related to that, you can guarantee is uh, the auric attachments and blockages are behind stuff like this okay now i'm going to share a bit about my story and who i am so what i did was i attended school until eighth grade and despite having friends and having a few people i liked i never felt like i fit in by and large and i failed all my classes 
and I, just, and I felt like school was a complete waste of my abilities and talents and other stuff I had to offer. So depressed, full of anger and miserable, I was unable to learn properly due to the teaching methods not reaching me. So in other words, due to the teaching, the way they taught, it never quite um, reached me. So I was not very happy and, did, and didn't do well. So I then switched from school to homeschool, starting at ninth grade, ending at 11th. I became much, much happier. I got the one-on-one -on -one help I needed from tutors, and it also helped me to learn and fully commit myself to the spiritual esoteric, and, the, and also, I also learned business to get me to where I am today. So, so then that helped me to busk at the Fremantle markets using card magic, and this taught me to think creatively and how I could generate more cash flow and how I could be better and look for ways to improve. This meant I never needed to get a job and busking helped me to not to rely on somebody else. And then I studied Cert 3 in business admin in my final year of schooling. And I was also featured on Today Tonight through my business mentors at the time using my card magic busking business. And I was one of the few students to chosen to be featured. So that's what I did from ages 15 to 17. And then since I was 17, I've been performing clearings on people's sicknesses, illnesses, injuries, accidents, and diseases in the auric field, right before it manifests in their physical life. And on top of that, I guide them on how to do it themselves. Okay, now, okay. So now before we get into today's training, let's first look at the auric field. So the question is, what is an auric field? So, I mean, as you probably figured out, we don't just have a physical body. We also have an auric field, which surrounds us. Or in, or in other words, a higher light body. The auric field is our energetic or our higher light body, which exists beyond the physical world. So it, so it goes beyond what our naked eyes can see. Our auric field is the real source keeping us alive because this is where our energy and spirit flows through. So as, so as weird as it sounds, it wouldn't be the bacon and eggs you ate for breakfast this morning or the water you drank to stay hydrated. The real source which is keeping us alive is our auric field. <clears throat> so we also have eight morphogenetic chakras in our auric field. So, the, so it's not just our auric field, we also have eight chakras in there as well. And there are some on the bottom and some at the top. Now, unfortunately, most people are not aware of this, which may explain why they create auric attachments daily through various sources such as karma. Okay, so now let's look at auric attachments. Now, auric attachments are negative energies or entities which exist within our auric field. So these, so these also go beyond the physical world, and these um, are very, these very much are real and exist in the auric field. So it's not just a sci-fi movie anymore. It's it, this this shit is real. They can range from barbs and hooks to spears, demons, wounded souls, and so forth. So they can be a whole bunch of different things. There isn't just one, there's many different forms and each have a different meaning. These get in the way of us connecting to our higher self and getting mental clarity. So it very much can um, bring up brain fog and uh, pretty much um, thoughts running wild and everywhere. They also have the ability to drain our energy field, which keep us from optimum functioning. And they will eventually manifest in your physical life if they are not cleared and dealt with in the etheric. So type a Y in the text chat if you've had that happen, where you didn't deal with something quick enough and it manifested as, as something worse. I know I'll certainly put my hand up for that one. So, I mean, pretty much everyone's had something like that happen. So, Gail, Fiona, Carissa, Eva, Vic, Vic Judith, yes, for sure. Yep, so pretty much a whole, uh, most of you. The question is, how are they created? Let's, so, let's dive into that. 
and most commonly from what are called analogical experiences, which in turn create ids. Now with ids, we'll get into that a bit later, you'll find out what they are soon enough. But analogical experiences are basically traumatic experiences, where you experience something so traumatic that for a moment in time, you basically freeze. And then, and then the pain cuts you so deep that you basically are kind of um, out of this world and out of this universe, almost like speechless or whatever it is you feel when the pain cuts you deep. By making choices not aligned with the higher spiritual laws or your own truth, <clears throat> not managing your emotions and exploding with no self-control. So, I mean, as we can imagine, many people, for example, um, operate and feed on their emotions rather than control them and keep them managed. Not speaking your truth or constantly mistreating and hurting others, treating them like shit. Misuse of sexual energy, so lying to get sex, cheating, manipulation, power games, having sex for the sake of it, etc. Constantly rescuing other people and never thinking about yourself. So, in other words, you're always, you're always more concerned with others than you are about yourself and you never once take a moment to take care of you. Okay, so now just type in the text chat which one that you resonated with you in those in that different slides. I know for myself, I cer I certainly uh, have fallen into the rescuing before. Carissa, anger. Yeah, I mean, I'll put my hand up for that. I've also, I've also had trouble with controlling my temper and my anger. And I really, really, I've really had to work with that and I still am working with it. So Judith, rescuing others, not thinking for myself. Fiona, sexual anger, rescue. Wow, so quite a few there. And Christine, not in control of my emotions, very impatient right now and everyone knows it. <laughs> yeah, I, I've also had that issue. I've also, I also have that impatient issue. Gail, putting others first. Penny, anger, rescuing. Yeah, I mean, anger is very much a common one that people have struggled to deal with. And rescuing too. I mean, rescuing is very common, especially if you're an empath or healer, or you do this kind of work, if you don't manage it. So Queen says, I get too angry and don't want to yell anymore. <clears throat> yeah, it kind of does get that way. It does. You kind of do charge. And I mean, everyone has their own way. So like me, for example, when I get very angry, I completely lash out and it all comes out. So, like, so everyone, I guess, that would be very different. So now we'll dive into how they affect you. You lose touch of your real soul and create a whole new identity for yourself. So again, we'll go back to, we'll go to that Ed one very soon. Attachments become more solidified and condensed if they're not dealt with quickly. In other words, if you don't deal with them quickly and you don't deal with them as soon as they come, then they'll become more solidified and very hard and then it'll be much harder to deal with down the track. They get into each of your 15 chakras and block them from flowing properly. So as we mentioned earlier, um, the auric field is our life force. Uh, our chakras are our life force. So if your, chakra, if, your, if your chakras are blocked, then I mean, it's a wonder why people always have no energy every day and are always tired or they're always angry and they're and always unhappy, it's things like that. You can potentially attract unwanted experiences or relationships in your life. So you'll, you, you'll very much um, fall into attracting toxic relationships or experiences. Sending back to source and being at one with him will not be possible. Accessing the higher dimensions and your higher self will be a major challenge. All right, so now here's an interesting fact for you to know. 
Is those effects are the reason somebody can experience a radical change in personality. So where they can easily go from being very happy and very much bright, shining of light, and then one day they're more angry, they're more cold, they're more bitter, they shut everyone out. That's why stuff like that can happen. Simply because they went through a traumatic event and created ids out of it. Because when ids are not cleared or dealt with, you'll lose touch of your true soul and you can end up as someone whose light has grown dim. Then you've lost your light. So just type a Y if that's applied to you. I know I've had that, I've, I've had that in my life. Gail, Fiona, Mang, Christine, Judith. Yep, so quite a few. So empaths and uh, people in this work is especially are prone to falling into this one, especially because they feel misunderstood and this kind of stuff is not really accepted by the world. And of course, you'll attract experiences according to that frequency. Financially, you'll strive and struggle and you'll have money blocks everywhere. So now here's another interesting fact for you. Auric attachments locate themselves in your chakras based on the emotion and trauma that you've gone through. And this means that each of your seven chakras all have a completely different meaning and frequency. This means that whatever emotion, accident, illness, trauma, or anything related will determine where the blockage will be in each of your chakras. And each chakra has its own meaning. So I'll show you what I mean. If you have an unresolved experience around heartbreak and love, it will be stored in the heart chakra, which is the fourth. Or if you have trouble of speaking your truth, it will be stored in the fifth or the throat chakra. So just so just type which chakra that you feel you that you feel um, has the most blocks in it. Gale base, yeah. So that would be around survival, and uh, and a lot of people would have that. And Eva throat, Carissa sacral and heart, and Queen six, Penny root heart throat, and Queen and three. Fiona base throat and heart. <coughs> Yeah, so throat seems to be very common here, along with bass. And the heart as well. Yeah, so I mean, it's all, so most people have uh, more than one chakra um, blocked. And I mean, most people have all 15 blocked, which is why it's, uh, it's such a problem today. Okay, so now we'll go through the different types of attachment. So including the ids now. now. Now, the first one here is occupants. So this one is basically a soulless thought form, which thinks it owns your body. And the way that they're created basically is when, when you experience something traumatic or have a bad event happen to you. <clears throat> so, I mean, as we all know, there are many ways that you can handle something like that. So, I mean, and so the way the occupants will be created out of that is when you have an emotional charge about it. So, obviously, I mean, when it's fresh, the emotional charge is very natural. But the problem is if you allow it to get to set into your heart and you allow bitterness and unforgiveness to enter your heart, then it will, you'll become more and more charged up the more you think about it. So, instead of it being a negative thought, it then changes into a negative thought form. And then it basically then it basically becomes like a, an entity without a soul, so to speak. And then that, that can then this one is very magnetic, and it can so that means it can it can attract all kinds of bad shit for you. And then you have the scarlets, and these are beings who have died, but they haven't yet passed through the tunnel. In other words, they're souls which who are not inhabiting a body. So as you would imagine, it's not great for them up there. Until they're shown to the light or cleared off you, the, um, the only thing they can do is basically feed off the energy which is similar to theirs. So they're feeding off you like a parasite. 
and then then you have the wormholes so these basically act as doorways in your auric field for entities in the ninth dimension or higher to feed off of you through so they'll use that as the doorway to feed off your energy and your light and then you have portals so portals look like slits in the auric field so these are created as soon as you um, as soon as you basically take on other people's stuff, or in other words, absorb their energy or rescue them. So these are and these are how they're created. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed that the people who are re the rescuing type, or the people who take on other people's shit, they're the ones who tend to have the least energy, and they tend to have a lot of health problems and stuff like that. And then, then, then you've got the ids here. So this is basically a soul fragment which is alive and well affecting you from the past. So it's, I mean, basically when you go analogical, create an analogical experience, what happens is your gold, the go, a golden piece of your soul or your true soul will, will fragment and shatter away and then an id will come in to replace that. So a completely new hardened identity. So, so it comes back to when someone, uh, someone was once very happy and very loving, and then they've now become very cold and very dark and very angry at everybody. So that's how shit like that can happen. And then you've got person, the, the personalities. So the person, so personalities are basically like the shadow selves of the ids. So, I mean, when you create an id, you create a whole new personality. And there are many, there are various types of that. So, I mean, a per, so a personality, it can be like basically a poor me victim. So if you were once very empowered and very strong, but something happened to you and then you start falling into blaming other people, you would fall into like a poor me victim, so to speak, which would be the personality. So, and, and then an archetype, these are basically like certain beliefs, systems or patterns which you've got within you. Because the trouble is when you have extreme beliefs or views about something, these archetypes will keep manifesting that for you until you've dealt with it. So, for example, if you have, an, if you have a lot of hatred towards your mother or father, well, until you deal with that, you will keep manifesting people or partners who, who remind you of them. So just type in the text chat which one you feel is you, which attachment here applies to you. So I've fallen into the ids, into the portals myself. Carissa, portals, Penny, id, and archetypes, Judith, solar plexus, and Carissa, ids, Gail, portals, Queen, archetypes, Darius, ids, Judith, ids, and personalities. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not surprised that ids is very common here. I mean, that tends to be the case, especially with most, even those in the, even those who aren't in this line of work. So Fiona, id, archetype, personality, Christine, portals, ids, archetypes. And yeah, portals is another one I'm not surprised about. Because, yeah, I mean, especially empaths will be very prone to falling into that one. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly guilty of that. The question is, how do you clear these? And the main method of clearing auric attachments is with an auric clearing. And an auric clearing is the fastest and most effective way to transmute attachments. Now, here's some other methods that you can use to clear them. Step on your path and purpose and live it. So discover your path, what it is, and then truly live it. Start making choices more aligned with the universal laws and your own truth. So start reevaluating the choices you've made and start to make different ones. Yeah, check for any karma you may have with someone or yourself and make it right. Seek to serve something beyond yourself and be mindful of not falling into personal gain and greed. Okay, now here's some more details on what an auric clearing is, just to give you more context. 
And auric clearing in simple terms means you're clearing your auric field. And auric clearing involves scanning the multidimensional light body, or in other words, your auric field. It can also uses higher esoteric language, energy directing techniques, and relevant codes to communicate with your higher self, as well as your subconscious mind to permanently transmute these attachments. <clears throat> and what then happens is you'll recover golden soul fragments that represent pearls of wisdom from the issue being cleared. Or in other words, you'll you'll receive your 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 true soul back, and it will replace those ids that you created. And at the end of the session, we download new chords, new templates, and new soul programming from the higher self. This will result with you embodying a much higher frequency in your life. Plus, your reality can change by attracting people, places, times, and events that resonate with your new higher frequency. So instead of attracting the same old toxic relationships or um, this, all that business loss or emotional stuff, emotions being everywhere, you'll instead attract the, um, all these things which resonate with your new higher frequency, your upgrade. So now let's look at the science behind clearing the, these imprints. Put it simply, the universe is a giant hologram. It's one giant hologram. And scientists are agreeing that there is a quantum or esoteric realm which governs all things. So let's look at some examples. Carl Pribham, neurophysicist, Stanford University. David Bohm, physicist of University of London. Amit Goswani, physicist of Oxford University. And Dr. Coda Spencer. Put it another way, they are realizing that consciousness precedes matter, matter rather than the other way around. And Michael Talbot, in his book, The Holographic Universe, had a very interesting take on this topic. In the holographic universe, he suggested that coffee cups, trees, table lamps might not exist or even exist in the way that we believe them to be. In other words, everything is an illusion and the mystics or the people seen as crazy are actually right. So, I mean, the conspiracy theorists, the loosey goosey spiritual people are, are turning out to be right. So science is now backing their claims. Your, your mind is like a radio transmitter, which tunes into the radio stations of infinite realms of energy. So this means we are manifesting every second, minute, hour of the day and night. So we're always manifesting. Now that can either be a, an exciting or a scary thought. Because I mean, just think back to your last thousand choices and thoughts that you've had, because those very much shape where you are today. And our thoughts create our reality. Not just that, but also the collective consciousness of those around us. In other words, we are affected by the mass mind if we're not mindful. Our life is a hologram of what we create. The subconscious mind works with your conscious mind. It is like a, a film or movie screen. So, I mean, think of it like an iceberg. Your conscious mind is the surface part. So the surface that you will see when you're in your boat. But, where, but then, I mean, 90% of it, the, deep, the the rest of the iceberg, I mean, it's, it's hidden within, and that is where our subconscious mind comes in. So basically everything that's happened in your life, every thought, pattern, conditioning, upbringing, and words you've spoken over yourself, emotions, all of that is stored in your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is, is always manifesting into your conscious mind. So th these two can work together like your greatest, your greatest asset or your worst enemy. So, I mean, think of it like this, a movie projector. So basically, your con so basically your con your, you've got your subconscious mind as the movie projector, and then your conscious mind is basically the DVD. Now, as you can imagine, if you put, the C if you put a CD for Jurassic World into the movie projector, then you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it to start playing a, a, another movie like Horrible Bosses. So you so it only will play the movie that's on the CD. 
So basically, whatever you feed your subconscious mind with your conscious mind, that's what will manifest in your life. Now, classic physics is questionable and quantum physics makes perfect sense. So this is what was concluded. And all things are interconnected. Time and space does not exist. It's not linear. Holographic theory is very much real. Unless you're actively combating the mass mind, it doesn't matter what you do. It will keep attracting back to the same hologram as it is your consciousness, which determines your reality. So in other words, it will not go away until you've dealt with it. It is like you're an elastic band which keeps pulling you back to the same place. You're being pulled back to square one, no matter what you do in your life. <clears throat> Law of attraction and frequency is like gravity or like radio waves. In other words, it's not moral or emotional, and it does not care what is fair, unfair, or what should happen to you. It's just what is. Okay, now here's some other ways that you can acquire some auric attachments and imprints. So, parents' beliefs and spoken words over, over you. Going broke in your business, being cheated on by a business partner or getting bad advice. Losing in an investment or having money stolen from you. A traumatic emotional experience or neuroassociation. Spiritual dissociation or repressive disorders. Bad examples around money. So, e.g. heroes or business leaders who make a lot of money, but they are a complete arsehole of the highest order in real life. Making a bad mistake and creating a story around it or blaming yourself or others. <clears throat> so, mass mind and belief systems. Being in a corrupt fire and greedy system, so it comes to back to like a dirty house. Now, I mean, think of a house. When you're cleaning it every day and you're being vigilant, the house will stay spotless and it'll be great to live in. Whereas as soon as you stop, um, stop cleaning it, it will stay clean for a while, but slowly but surely the dust, uh, the dust will pile up, things will go everywhere, and your house will end up back to the same place it was before you started, if not worse. So now, now we'll go through some testimonials of people who have worked with me. So this is Steve Plummer from, from Sunshine Coast of Queensland. And, bas and basically, in his words, he said that, he, that when he first started, he was very much locked up and very much stuck in that matrix, like most people. But since he's been, work since he's been working with me, I've been... I've helped him make massive shifts and transformations in helping him to escape from his mind and enter his heart more and help them to work as one rather than ba rather than basically have them at constant war with one another. He feels more peaceful and more happy. And basically, if, I, if anyone ever has the opportunity to work with me, to grab it with both hands. So that's Steve Plummer. So this is Famida Zahara Hamid from Chicago, and that she first got to show, she so in her words she first got to know me through the city through the, when I was invited to speak on city awakening webinars and other things, and from there we start we started to connect and started to chat, and then and then things started to really change, especially when when she bought the DNA activation package from me. And it was amazing, according to her. And basically what happened there was I not only helped her to activate her DNA and other, other things, but I also helped her experience physical healings, which, which she had sustained for decades. And she got messages and more clarity of her path and purpose and who she was. And she, based, and she, and she also, her posture also noticeably improved. And that she would basically recommend me to anyone who ever gets the opportunity. And this is Christine Evans from WA, from where I live. And so, so she first got to know me through my father, Warren Black, the founder of The Awakening Within, in the later part of 2018 when she came to our place to receive a clearing. So, and the clearing, according to her, was amazing. It helped a shift of all kinds of trauma, which she'd experienced in the past around in her mind and in her heart, 
and everywhere like and everywhere like that because she had been learned she had learned from other spiritual healers and gurus before but then then according to her ours was very different and that she made um, real shifts and ever since then i've taught her many different ways of clearing and that you can never be too comfortable that there's always something lurking that you need to be vigilant for and in her words i'm kind compassionate and have a lovely sense of humor okay so now let's get into clearing your blockages um okay so now now we'll get back into these chakras here for a bit so now as as we mentioned earlier each chakra has its own meaning and whatever trauma you experience it will locate itself in the chakra so i'll give i'll give a quick rundown here of what each chakra actually means the root chakra means basic trust or survival sacral chakra is around sex and creativity solar plexus is wisdom and power so the, the power you have within the heart chakra is around love and healing and trust the throat chakra is about communication and speaking your truth the third eye chakra is about awareness or in other words some your awareness in the higher cosmos or awareness around your path and purpose and then your crown chakra is about spirituality your connection to the cosmos so 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 i mean clearing your blockages first starts with these chakras okay so does anyone have any questions before we get into the clearing and queen is this recorded yes yep it will be recorded so if you whatever if you ever want to check out the replay you'll you'll be free to do that judith no queen it's a great explanation well, oh yeah i mean the more you get into this the more exciting it gets i mean i was i know that i certainly was very excited and very keen on this i mean when i first got into this i studied this for hours on end and i just kept going it over and over fiona fiona can i access the recording to share with family well yes this well yes this is a free webinar so i mean your family can watch it if they choose if they choose to and queen queen i'm super excited and i have my friend dean with me and he's going eight my husband darius as well oh wow that's that's awesome it's great to see that that excitement that i had when i first started um, and, and trust me i still get excited when talking about this okay so um, is there any more questions before we get into the clearing All right, no questions. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll turn off my camera for now while the clearing is happening. So now everyone just focus on this code and inhale it into your third eye, into your aura. Just imagine it there and then close your eyes. And then so breathe in through your nose for four counts. Hold for four counts and breathe that through your mouth for eight. So breathe in the nose for four. Hold it for four and exhale through the mouth for eight. And just keep breathing like that. 
to relax your mind while you're imagining the code. Okay, we now call upon the divine, the, the, the <clears throat> divine white protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding each person here. We call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael and Metatron and Christ and Mother Gaia, only those who are aligned with, <clears throat> with the higher Christ consciousness and with the word of God. We clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related. Now, It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this higher auric calibration code be used to clear any auric attachments or unintended creations or any ids, occupants, soul fragments, personalities, archetypes, portals, or wormholes or anything else related to those from each person here, from their aura. And, and reactivate it to its to its highest frequency potential and original divine function. Now, to Asia in today. Clearing the negative energies in the auric field. Clearing out the auric attachments, the unintended creations, scrambling the frequencies and the energies into light and out of darkness. Clearing any dark whirlpools around each person. Also clear off any toxic energies or negative energies taken on from the mass consciousness, from the planet energies, or any people closer to each person here, or any that's within them as well, clear that.
pour in the golden liquid light and send them the love from the Father and the higher masters. Strengthen each person here, bring in the happiness, the joy, the calmness. Re-energize and revitalize them, bring back their life force. <clears throat> okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Carissa, very clear, lol. <laughs> That's awesome. And clear and calm. Yep. Fiona, calm. Meng, better, focused. Eva, lighter. Gail, more refreshed. Drifted into another world. <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen as you go, as that this happens. Christine, smiling, and I got really hot at the end. I think the life force hit me big time. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, yeah, the life force, it can very much hit you because a lot of peoples have been drained, like when the chakras get blocked. Queen, great. I like the archangels coming. It reminds me of a Merkaba meditation. We feel great. Dean felt the shift, more refreshed energy all around. Oh, that's fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, and it very much makes a difference when you've got the high masters working because they're the key to the healing and all. Suzanne, lovingly peaceful. And Penny, thank you so much, William. That was awesome. Like a wind cleansing all the chakras high above me too. I really needed that. Huh. Well, no worries, Penny. I'm glad, I'm glad you had a great experience there. I mean, yeah, we all need a good clearing from time to time. <clears throat> Judith, light and happy. I feel like crystal clean water washed me inside and out. Yeah, that, that that's always a great feeling. It's always a great feeling when that happens to you. Penny, yeah, I've been feeling horrible. Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty common, especially with everything going on in the world today. If the clearing is needed more than ever. Okay, so now everyone just take a glass of water just to integrate. Penny, I've been trying to do it myself, but it's not as effective. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it does. It, it, well, it does tend to be like that. I mean, but the more, I mean, the truth is, it's about practice. So the more you practice on clearing yourself, the better you'll get at it. But I mean, it, yeah, it's always a different effect when someone when someone else actually clears you, because that's because when you're on the receiving end, it's more powerful in that sense. <clears throat> okay, so is there any questions before we move on to the next part of this webinar?
Suzanne, it's lovely to have a refresh from you, William. Well, thanks, Suzanne. I'm glad that I helped you be refreshed. Carissa, my cells feel like they are dancing with high vibration. <laughs> yeah, it certainly does feel that way. Yeah, even I can feel it. <clears throat> Judith, how often do you do clearing on yourself? Well, every day. I mean, with everything going on in the world, and I mean, well, all those dark principalities lurking out there. I mean, you have to be you have to be very vigilant. I mean, clear. You have, I mean, clearing yourself regularly is a good habit to get into. Because yeah, I do it every day. <clears throat> okay, so no more questions. Right, so now what we'll do is move on to the next phase. Okay, so now just a few questions for you. Now, when you leave this training, you've got a lot of great information from me, right? However, if you haven't done or clearing before, it can be a little overwhelming. So the question is, what can you do about it? Now, is it okay if I show you the fast and easy way to make all of this happen for you? Now, how would you like to receive a step-by-step -step live course on how to implement this incredible, simple yet effective clearing program into your life? Because the great thing with the Auric Clearing Program is that you will be able to shift your blockages and eliminate any hidden sabotages sooner. You will then be able to freely manifest more money, experience better health, <clears throat> manage your emotions and thoughts and live the life that you've always desired. So now the life changing transformational process. If you're ready to take your life, health, wealth and relationships to the next level, this course will help you clear imprints in your auric field to eliminate financial blockages and self sabotage. Clear negative energy, dark entities, curses, hexes and spells around your business and investments. Clear limiting unconscious associations with taxes and government silently holding back your success. <clears throat> Clear energetic blockages and beliefs around health and relationships, freeing you from sickness and unhappiness. Clear alignment obstructions in finding your life's purpose. Create an energetic impenetrable shield over your health, wealth and family. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get into what each week of the program will be about. So the first week is about building your spiritual foundation. And in here, we introduce you to Auric Clearing, as well as the scientific and es esoteric foundations to prepare your mind, body and spirit to be cleared, allowing you to be free and unlimited, incorporating a new pathway to the life that you desire. <clears throat> in the second week, it will be all about shifting your financial blockages. So in here, we cover auric clearing around money constraints, helping you shift blockages from your business, if investments, tax and regulatory institutions, by showing you how to tap into your intuitive manifesting powers to design and create the life that you want. <clears throat> and the third week is all about transforming your life around relationships, health and physical body. In here, we go deep into the art of auric clearing around relationships, health and transformational healing, coupled with advanced strategies and action steps of doctors, naturopaths and health professionals to enhance your overall health and vitality. Plus, there will be a bonus week four where we blend the previously trainings together for a bonus integration. In here, this is the final integration session where we combine all three trainings together and incorporate new advanced and quantum methods to fast track the results you want in your health, wealth and life. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so now week one, 499.25. Week two, 499.25. Week three, 499.25. And week four, 499.25, totaling the value to 1997. So here's what you get. Four transformative trainings times 499.25 equals to 1997. You also get unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session, which will be 197. And then total value, uh, totaling the value to 2194. To two, okay, now, I mean, uh, I want to reward you if you've already made up your mind, because you'll be happy to hear that you get these awesome bonuses as well. The first bonus is a personalized one-on-one -on -one clearing session with myself to enhance your results. And I will help you achieve that by clearing whatever it is that you want cleared in the fastest time possible. So this is valued at 197. And the second bonus is that you will receive our transformative J Seals training uh, the, uh, that we've done previously, where we can help you remove energetic implants that could be sabotaging your health, wealth, and relationships. This is valued at 197. So here's what you get to sum it all up. And the four transformative trainings times 499.25 is 1997. <clears throat> um, unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session, 197. One on one personalized healing session, 197. JCL's recorded course, 197. Totaling the value to 2588. And, and Christine asks if these prices are in AUD. No, these are US. So, yep. So this, uh, but however, you won't be paying that today. For fast decision makers, you will only it will only be four ninety seven up front for three easy installments of one ninety seven per week. So this is for today only. Now, along with that, you also get a risk free guarantee. This is our one hundred percent ironclad risk free investment. You sign up for the course, and if you're not happy, and I don't deliver the the and I don't help you deliver the results that you pro that were promised, let me know and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. So once again, for today only, it's 497 up front or three easy installments of 197 per week. Okay, so now this is the link here to sign up. Now, to, now type a Y if you'd be interested in that. Okay, Meng, yes. Gail, yes. Christine, yes. Queen, yes. Okay, awesome. Judith, yes. We've got a few. Okay, great. Good to see we have a few takers here. <clears throat> okay, so we've got, so we've got, all right. So now what I will do now is I will now place this link into the text chat. Elaine, what day are you going? Are you doing the weekly sessions? So, so that, so that for that, you, I'll be doing it every Wednesday at eleven a.m. All right. So now, what I'll do actually is I'll place the link into the chat. Okay. So, can everyone see that? <clears throat> yes, Judith. Carissa, does the link have info on what happens each week? Sorry, I had to step away for five minutes. Yes, that's correct. Um, yep, there will be. Yep, that there's all the information on there. Christine, yeah, thanks. Yes, have the link. Carissa, amazing. Thanks. All right. So now all you need to do is just simply click the link. And what it will do is direct you onto the page. You will then scroll down. You will then scroll down and then click the button and a, a form will come up for you to fill out. You fill out the form and then you choose your payment option and then basically you'll be good to go. Okay, so does anyone have any questions on that? Okay, awesome, Carissa. Good to know it's working.
<clears throat> Sorry, William, what were the bonuses again? Yeah, so you get two bonuses. So the first bonus will be a personalized one-on-one -on -one session with me. So that one will basically be where I help you enhance your results. And I will, it will be all about you clearing whatever it is that you want. And then basically, and then basically help with going from there. And then the second one is access to um, a JSEALS course, which we did previously, where we, where, we, where we clear out any energetic implants, which may be sabotaging your health, wealth, or other areas of your life. So those are the two bonuses. Judith, so the time will be Wednesday, 2 p.m. Sydney time, right? Yeah, that would be correct. If I remember right, Lee, you guys are three hours ahead of WA. Because where I am, it'll be Wednesday at 11 a.m. <clears throat> Carissa, when does it start? So you'll get all the information once you've signed up and all. And yeah, it will start, it will be starting next, but just, just, just so you don't forget, it will be starting next week on Wednesday at 11 a.m. And you'll, you'll receive an email and link for that. Meng, does it run over three weeks? No, it runs for four weeks. <clears throat> so you get class number one, number two, number three, and then the, the integration. So it runs for a total of four weeks. Meng, okay, thank you. All right, so now, so now, because we're wrapping up here, what I will do now is answer any any remaining questions that any of you guys have. So now will be so now will be the time to ask if you have any more questions before we end for today. <clears throat> Christine, I am unfortunately unlikely to be able to attend any of the sessions live. Is it likely you'll be running another one of these down the track? Uh, yes, I will be, but I mean, uh, I wouldn't be sure when that, but th there's not really a timestamp of when that will be happening. But another option too is that even if you do sign, even if you do sign up, you can always watch the recordings because you'll have you'll have unlimited access to it. So that's the other option as well, Christine. <clears throat> um, Christine, I understand. I think I will just do the recordings anyway. Thank you. Yep, awesome, Christine. Thank you. Mang, what does it mean by never return to planet? So, oh, well, that's more of like a metaphor. Like that, that more means that more means like you'll never be the same again, and you'll never and you'll never be the same person. You'll never be like the same zombie in the matrix, stuff like that. And you'll be much more connected to the higher cosmos. Bang, brilliant. Yep. <clears throat> Judith, this was a great session and I'm looking forward to do more in depth trade learning about this. Thank you, William. Yeah, thank you, Judith. And uh, thanks for signing up. And uh, I look forward to working with you and look forward to everyone else to working with everyone else too. Okay. Queen signing up now. Thank thanks and God bless. Yeah. No problem, Queen. Carissa, thank you. I feel so clear. Fiona, how long is this offer for? 
So this offer will be available for the next 24 hours. Well, basically what that, so what that means basically is that, I mean, if you sign up after 24 hours, you know, you'll still, you can still, you'll still get it for 497, but what it will mean is that you won't get the bonuses that come along with it. So yeah, hope that helps. Yep, no problem, Fiona. All right, so now we'll, we'll now end it here, and uh, I'll take I'll now take this opportunity to thank all of you for coming. I'm glad you all enjoyed it as much as I did, and I look forward to working with you all. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.